Hi, welcome to Chamber Chat. I'm Haley Klein, Director of Artesia Chamber of Commerce. Thanks for being with us again. We have some great guests here today to talk about um, kind of community awareness. We have uh, Corporal Jeff Fletcher from Artesia Police Department in Esteban Sepulveda. Am I saying that right? I try, I try hard. Uh, also from Artesia Police Department. You two are community, part of the community policing unit, yes. right? Yes. And so you do a lot of outreach with uh, well, the community, but kids, um, kind of community issues right. that face uh, Artesia Police Department. So um, coming up on September 15th is um, an anti-gang, anti-graffiti public seminar. You've done this before. Yes, this is our third year to do this. So you, it's an annual thing. Tell us what it is first. Go ahead. I bet well, you tell this one. We're trying to get people educated about gangs. Um, we've been doing a gang conference for law enforcement officers for the last three years and we've also incorporated this public uh, seminar in the evenings for folks to come out and get a little bit of education about gangs. This year we're going to have somebody come out and also talk about graffiti and how all these things affect not only the community but the quality of life um, for everybody in Artesia. So this is a way of sort of getting the community tuned in, aware of the signs, to help you do your jobs better? Is that a, is that a fair way to put it? It is. It, it's, we're trying to get the community involved. Um, one of my main things that I tell everybody is we can do as police officers the greatest job that we can do, but without the community involvement, really and truthfully, we're not doing a whole lot. Um, we need their help. With the, the gang and the graffiti, if people don't call in that type of activity, that type of stuff, then we don't know about it unless we just stumble upon it. This type of seminar, it gives them a little bit more in-depth look at what we deal with and, and how to combat that problem. Okay, so um, t tell us what's on the agenda here. We have some opening comments from um, our own uh, police chief, Don Rayleigh. But what, what's happening next? Who's on the agenda? Well, it, it's going to start about 6 o'clock on Thursday night, September 15th. It'll be at the Artesia Recreation Center. And we've got some um, instructors that are from out of town. Uh, these guys are experts in their field, and we've been able to get them to come to Artesia and to assist us with this. And um, Jeff can talk a little bit about the instructors and the, uh, the folks that will be talking at this. Okay. Um, the first one that we're going to have, have speak is, is, he's a graffiti expert. Um, his name is Sergeant Dwight Waldo. He's from San Bernardino, California, Police Department. Uh, he has a lot of experience with graffiti there. Um, of course, California, you know, one of the major issues that they have all over California is graffiti. The thing about it is, is here in Artesia, it's one of our major issues as well. Um, we, we do a pretty good job of getting that stuff cleaned up, but we need to do a little bit better as a community to stop it before before we have to clean it up. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna he's gonna give us a look at that and how it affects our life um, just as as a citizen of Artesia. You know, people don't think it affects their lives, but you look at it this way as it costs you money every day. You mm -hmm. have to pay taxes to have the city clean it up or you have to clean it up off of your property. So it does cost us money and there's other issues that it also does. The second guy that's gonna come out is Robert Walker, um, he's, he's retired, um, he's been in law enforcement for a long time, he's done a multitude of, of jobs within law enforcement. Um, he has a website um, that, uh, that he started, it's called Gangs Are Us. Um, it's, it's basically what, it's a kind of an in-depth look at gangs, how it affects your community, why they start, why people join. Um, I'm not sure exactly what all he's going to cover within the community seminar, but I do know that uh, he, he has a vast knowledge of, of gang activities, um, all the way from southern, northern, western to eastern the United mm -hmm. States, all over. He's been everywhere. So, and he's coming out of South Carolina. So, interesting. So, people coming from different parts of the country where maybe they've seen. I, I imagine. Well, you said it. California, especially southern California. I imagine suffers from a lot of gang activity, graffiti, and that kind of thing. We're a much smaller community, but we are seeing, we are seeing... We still have those problems. We still have here. those problems, and they have, I would say, developed over the last 
few years or ha have they increased or is that just a perception it, it's I think it's more of a perception it's always been here just different uh, people are looking at it differently now because it's kind of hitting a little bit more close to home with mm -hmm. some of the stuff that's going on mm -hmm. and the other thing I think reason why people are, are perceiving it is that is we are getting the word out a little bit more than what used to be um, everyone used to turn turn their head and you know believe that there wasn't a gang problem here in Artesia. One of our jobs is to get out and make sure that everybody knows that we do have a problem, we do have issues here in Artesia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we have seen or heard of in the newspaper and on the radio a shooting here and there. Are we just, again, are we just more aware of that? Has that always been happening or are gangs getting more violent? Probably a little bit of both. Um, you know, it, it, the gangs are evolving as well, and things are just becoming, society is becoming a little more violent in general. In general. You turn on the TV, you see this, you turn on the radio, you hear about it, you know, um, you read about it in the newspapers, you read about it in magazines, and, and you just generally kids are being bombarded with stuff that, you know, video games, everything is, is a lot more violent, so it, it's become more prevalent across societal bounds. Mm -hmm. And I suppose you're, you see a little bit of a, I, this may be a strong word, but you see a little bit of a breakdown of our traditional structure of society with, you know, more um, it, 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 broken it is. homes or more... Right. It all started, know. I mean, everything does start at home. I mean, there, no matter if it's, it's church life, if it's, you know, street life or whatever it is, it all starts at home. Um, that is the basic structure of, of society is, is family and family values. So it, that is where it starts. Um, that's not exactly always the case, though. Um, there are different, you know, different ways to be into the game, get into the game's mm -hmm. lifestyle and everything. Mm -hmm. so. Some different factors come up, you know, but it, it, it always boils down to an individual's choice. We all have choices to make. Right. And, you know, like Jeff said, I mean, there's other factors that are out there that contribute to this, but people have to make a choice whether they want to be involved in this or not. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, as community, as the community policing unit, I suppose you're dealing with these very issues quite a bit. Is that, is that kind of the core of your unit's mission? It's one of the aspects of our mission. Um, we have, we do a multitude of things um, within the police department, of course, but it is dealing with the, the gang um, process and, and everything like that. We, that is one of our missions is to get out there to um, <clears throat> stop, I, I guess, educate and stop it is, mm -hmm. is one of our main issues. Uh, um, we, we, want, we want to make sure that, that we, we stop it before it starts. Mm -hmm. um, if we can stop even 10 kids, then I feel like we, we've done a great job. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I suppose you, as community policing officers, you're, you're seeing, you, you're identifying some of those potential yeah, we, kids we, we, early? I mean, do you we're see We're trying. We work closely with the uh, school resource officers. Those guys do an amazing job in their schools, and they've allowed us to come in and start doing a little bit of stuff about, you know, early on, kindergarten and, and above, with, with the gangs and with the uh, graffiti and just kind of educating some of these kids mm -hmm. about this stuff and trying to get them to understand why it's not something that you want to be partaking in mm -hmm. as you grow older. It, it becomes destructive. So who who should be at this seminar? Uh, the main people that should be in this seminar is anybody who is concerned with, with their community. Um, the citizens of Artesia. Um, we, we've had a, a decent out, you know, turnout the last few years. And I say decent um, because anywhere from 40 to 60 to 100 people. but that's only about a 1% of the citizens mm -hmm. of Artesia. So I kind of want to challenge everybody out there. And, and, you know, if you care about this community and you truly care about this community, then you need to come see, see this seminar. You need to come learn what we can do to fight this problem. So, so this is a way of activating the community outside of your traditional policing efforts that we, yes. that the taxpayers support or whatever. Yes. Uh, this is a way for community to be to get aware involved. and to become yeah. involved. We've had a couple people contact us with some ideas about 
how to start um, getting the younger kids away from this gang stuff. So we we're looking at some of this stuff now. We're trying to partner with them to see if we can get some of these programs brought into Artesia. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we also want to see what other ideas people have. People can call us, people can talk to us and let us know what they think we can bring here. This is not a police problem. This is a community problem, right. you know, right. and, and we can't do this by ourselves. We need people to step up and start to help their own kids and, and the kids in this community to get away from this stuff because it's just going to get worse. It's and it starts. When, I mean, they're, they're pretty young when they yeah, start getting absorbed into the culture. Yeah, some, some, That's just what my limited. Right. Unfortunately, some of it's from from birth. I mean, it's just some of them are born into that lifestyle and they'll, you know, it's just that's all, all they know. know. So, so you're looking for, um, you're looking to educate the community, but you're also looking for input from the community yes. as well in terms of what their ideas might be or how they, how they see ways they might see to approach or, yes. or reach and, out to, to and young we're ones. we're willing to listen to ideas and, and see if maybe we can get something going, but it's going to take the community stepping forth and, and deciding they don't want this in their community and doing something about it. Right. Let's take a quick break and we'll be right back. We'll talk more about this and some of the other things that uh, your unit is, is tackling. Okay, stay with us. We'll be right back with more Chamber Chat. And we're back with more Chamber Chat. I have here with me Jeff and Esteban. We've been talking about, from the police department, I should say, we've been talking about this uh, anti-gang, anti-graffiti uh, public seminar coming up September 15th at six o'clock. Six o'clock at the Artesia Center uh, it's appropriate for the entire community to be there. If you care about this problem, you care about your community, um, you, need to, you need to be here. That's, that's the first and foremost that we're trying to get out of this. Um, we were just talking about whether it's appropriate for children to be there or not, and um, the answer is maybe, depending on your kid, but there will be something for children to do. That's correct. Um, the, the Artesia Recreation Center is, is very good working with, with the Artesia Police Department um, and they're, they're providing us the establishment of course to have it in as well as they're going to provide us with uh, some fun things to do for the kids if, if, if there are happen to be some kids there. So, so. some entertainment mm -hmm. <coughs> which is good but this may not be a bad thing for some children to hear depending on their age and yes. their ability to process the information and all of that. Um, it's not such a bad thing, I would think, for children to hear this information and themselves become aware of the things that they might be seeing at right. school and how to process. Right, and and, and that, that is that. true because mm -hmm. some of these some of these kids are going to start seeing it at, at an earlier early age in, in school. So, <coughs> well, my um, my third grader, uh, I remember him telling me last year in second grade that you know he would see things scribbled even on the. Um, playground equipment that he thought was offensive and it was I mean he was right <laughs> well, after he told me what it was um, and he was completely turned off by by it he's really he has a real big problem with graffiti um, that means to me that you all are getting to them somehow in the schools as well right, or the yeah. school resource officers how are they school resource officers do a real good job about that. so they're learning about this already in school yes they're trying to educate we're trying to get them a little bit younger and trying to get them throughout the whole school process that they understand this is not what we want here. You don't want to get involved in this. Now this is this is an anti-gang, anti-graffiti seminar. Um, the two issues often are one and the same. It, is your graffiti problem? Is it is it a hooligan problem, or is it really is it mostly a thing that comes out of gang activity? There's different types of graffiti. Um, some of it, yes, some of it d definitely does deal with, with the gang issues that we're having. And some of it just deals with notor notoriety. Um, some people just, they think they're a great artist and they <laughs> want to share their work. And, and that, that's just the way it goes. But uh, either way, I know we can stop the graffiti problem here in Artesia. We just need the community's involvement with mm -hmm. the, to help us out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Uh the, com the community is going to hear from these guys and, and um, Chief Rayley and I suppose you all both you both will be involved. Mm -hmm. um, what do what types of things would you expect from the community? We talked about um, giving some input. I mean, 
citizens may have some good ideas about how to reach out to kids or some of the things that they see or some of the kids they know or I don't know. Um, what types of things would you expect from the community in terms of being alert or watchful? I mean, what? Well, we expect for the community first off to try and get educated, show up to events such as this. It's free, it doesn't cost anything but a little bit of your time and you can actually walk away from this with hopefully something that you can take back and make yourself a little bit more aware about what's going on in mm -hmm. your community because it, it is here, it's going on and you need to be aware of it. Um, you know, speaking of community involvement, you know, Artesia Clean and Beautiful has helped us put this together. Um, they're, they're assisting us as is the New Mexico Gang Task Force and the Rocky Mountain Information Network. Um, without these agencies assisting us, it'd be real difficult for us to, you know, try to get everybody involved and, and try to put on some of this stuff. So it makes it a little bit easier for us when we've got more and more uh, involvement from people. And we'd like for people to show up. Um, we had people from Carlsbad and Roswell show up, quite a few last year, last year. for wow. these events. So, And this is information, of course, this isn't uh, necessarily specific to Artesia. I mean, some, some of Artesia's issues may come up or the signs that are specific to Artesia, right. but it, this is, I mean, this is really a nationwide. Right, yeah, it's, it's, it's an issue everywhere. Okay. What, what would you say to those people who are afraid to get involved? I imagine that on the surface of things, a lot of community, um, a lot of the community is a little bit scared of being involved because they don't want to be identified, they, they fear retribution or whatever it may be. I imagine that, and you see this across the country, people are afraid to step in and, and get involved and be proactive, mostly just fearful of it. So right. what do you say to those folks? I mean, what can they hear hear at this seminar that would make put them at ease? Or I think one of the main things that they can get from the seminar, one of the main things is most people who are, who are scared or, or afraid feel like that they're going to be singled out. Mm -hmm. That they're the only ones that are going to call it in, or they're the only ones that are that are going to that care enough to take care of the problem. I think at this seminar they can realize that it's a, the whole community. You're not alone, and it's okay to call it in. It's okay because the police department is going to be there to make sure that the problem's taken care of. Um, I, I know a lot of people when I talk to them that is the main issue. Well, I'm the only one that's going to call in. They're going to know it was me. When in reality. It's not just one call we've gotten, it's 10 or 12 mm -hmm. or 15. So they can learn that there. Um, that, that will help them come out of that stage of, of being fearful and actually you know, live life. Because when you live in fear in your own neighborhood, you're not really living. Right, right. And that's why we encourage that neighborhood watch program for folks to get involved in that. Um, we, we keep offering it, keep offering it, and we've got groups that are you know, they've taken the ball and they're running it and they're really dealing with some problems in their, in their neighborhoods. And we, we need more of that. We need more people to get involved in these neighborhood watches and they can help themselves. And that's something that we really stress. This is how we help you help yourself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and and it, I mean, I imagine that certain areas have a higher level of activity, but it seems to sort of cross boundaries in the community, is that fair, or again, is that my it, perception? It does. Here in Artesia, there's there's no no real you know section of town that that is specific to this type of problem. Um, with with the you know small communities, it's just going to bounce around, and mm -hmm. it does. It, it you know you may see it out on the west side of town. You might see it on the north side, the east side, the south side. It's it just, just everywhere. It moves around, and and you can't really. You can't really distinguish. Maybe in LA, for example, you can distinguish some neighborhoods, but here it's not as so much. Right. Um, th this is all really interesting stuff, and I really, really hope that people will take an interest in this. It's really important, I think, and and the community needs to uh, take itself back, I suppose. Right. From from the problems, and or before they become worse problems, really, is what you're getting at. Yes, and that's what we're hoping is that some of this will sink into some folks, and they'll step up bring something to the table that we can work with, that they can work with, that everybody in the community can get involved with and, and try to get some of these kids that are marginal right now going in that right direction instead of choosing to do some of this stuff that's gonna, they're gonna end up in jail, prison, or dead. Or, or, and just, or just,
be tagged, be identified, yeah. and, and then they really just, right. people stop giving them a chance, just early on even. Um, can you give a percentage, or, or maybe this is a tough question, but can you give a percentage of crime in our community that is related to gang activity? Is that a, is that a tough one to call? It, it, it is kind of a tough one to, to call because it's hard to label um, certain types of crimes. Um, and, and a lot of crimes, you know, may go unsolved. Um, mm -hmm. So you can only actually go off of the, the solved crimes of, mm -hmm. you know, who was identified of doing it, if they were identified into be, as being a gang member or, so it's actually, it's really tough to put a number on it. Mm -hmm. um, I would say probably like nationwide, I would probably say, it, I, I, my guess would probably be at probably about 50% or more um, would be. Just a guess uh, to yeah, make. I guess, yeah. yeah. So. And, and you also gotta think that, you know, some of the crimes that are perpetuated by these guys that we, we've labeled as gang members, may not be gang crimes they may just be just you know crimes and they happen to be a gang just, member exactly but, right. but not initiated by a gang right. or, exactly. or whatever right. yeah okay I understand. So it's hard to kind of hard to that number that i understand well we only have a minute left believe it or not so let's just um let's just wrap up the details and i'd like to have you back another time to talk about other aspects of community policing um again just give us the just give us the details here Okay, um, we want to make sure that we invite you guys out. We really hope that as many people in, as citizens of Artesia can come out. Um, it's going to be Thursday, September 15th, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. There will be some activities for children as well. It's going to be at the Artesia Recreation Center. And if you have any questions, feel free to call us, 746-5000 at the Artesia Police Department and ask to speak to a community policing unit officer. Great, perfect. Thanks guys for being here. You look like you're on vacation. <laughs> so we called you in off of the, right. off of the cruise ship. Um, appreciate you both coming in. We'll have you in again another time to talk about some of the other things that y'all are doing, National Night Out and other things like that that we didn't get to touch on today. Right. So again, uh, folks, come out September 15th for the anti-gang, anti-graffiti public seminar. You've watched another episode of Chamber Chat. Join us again next time for more great news about Artesia.